All right, so this is another eBay junk lot video. It's just a top loader, but this one is special in that I believe this could be the dirtiest top loader I've ever had. And I've had over a thousand top loaders come through here. Um, I bought it non-working. Uh, don't remember what I paid, probably a little bit too much. And when I got it, of course it didn't work and I'll show you it doesn't work. But I was curious and then, you know, I hit the flap to look down in there, this is what I normally do, and, and it was just, oh my god. And then I really started looking at it and I was like, holy shit. I mean, I seriously think this thing was in a flood. I don't know where or anything. I don't think the seller was like in Jersey or Florida or anything, so I don't really know where, but I'm pretty sure it was in a flood just because of how dirty it is, and I'll get you a closer look. But yeah, this is the mud console. Uh, first thing, let's just see if it works. Okay, this was an easy one. No response to power. I do have green LED on my power supply, so I know it's getting fed power. It's just no response to it. It doesn't matter if the cartridge is in or not. When you see this, I mean, it could be the RF output is completely bad. And the rest is okay. But the only way to tell that is to get in there and actually check for power. So... I'm going to open this up with the overhead view and then we'll get a better look at it. Okay, first I admit I have had this open because um, I did dispute it with the seller and I got some money back. So, no loss if this thing isn't completely repairable, but you'll see how bad it is and I think you would agree that you would not have paid, I probably paid over 60 bucks for it, you know, because on the outside it just looks dirty. But, okay, the first thing, yeah. <laughs> That's your first clue. Oh my God. As soon as I seen that, I was like, oh, there is no way that this wasn't in a massive flood and just accumulated a bunch of dirt. Okay. So then I started looking closer. Let's see if we can zoom in, zoom out a little bit and get to the controller port. Yeah. And then you start looking at the that rib right there. That's very common place for these to get super dirty. The lettering in the buttons. Just everywhere. The closer I looked, I was like, man, this thing is super dirty. The RF connector, super, super rusted. It might be another thing to check for power. If power is getting in or not, maybe that that uh, that pin and contact right there are super corroded. Could be. We'll check for voltage input if we don't have 5 volt output. But I think we're just going to find some really bad components in here. So. <laughs> wow. I mean, look at that. That that right there should also be a super indication that it was in a flood. Because as the what you know, I was it was sitting right side up somewhere and the waters went down. The mud collected here or there. Ooh, that is just so, so bad. Although, you know, if this is repairable and it cleans up good, I'd rather have this over um, cockroach bug guts and stuff like that in here. I will say that. But, man, you start, I mean, this is as far as I've gotten with it. I have not taken off the shielding or taken the board out. But man, I mean that that is thick. Thick with mud. Look at that. Wow. It's so bad. It's so bad it's good. <laughs> this is just true entertainment value right here. So one of the things I'm worried about is the screws being really badly corroded. Yeah, the head's corroded, but it came out. Yeah, look at the top threads on that. No bueno. That one survived pretty well. survived pretty well. Yeah, 
And that one looks okay. Turn on. <laughs> yeah, it is no better in there. That's what you would expect from flooding muddy waters to do to it. Wow, that is insane. I almost don't want to clean it. You know what I mean? Because it's just, it's so insane. Hmm. Well, I've seen rustier. It's a little rust forming around the edges. I've seen a lot worse than that. <laughs> the cap isn't domed. That's fun. There's a big hair in there. Probably a cat hair that is now mudded over. Yeah, I bet that ARF module is packed full of mud as well. These screws are looking a little worse for wear too. That is just glorious. You know what? You know what I think I'll do? I think we'll put it to a vote. Seriously, I think I'll... Uh, I think I can do a poll where something pops up on the video and you can actually do a poll. It seems like I've done that on one other thing and I can't remember what it was for. So the poll will be clean it or leave it as is. Clean it and fix it, or make it a showpiece like that, because that is just insanity. It sucks it kind of already scraped off some of the mud, so I don't know. So this will just be like a part one, and then uh, we'll figure out if people want me to clean it or leave it. If they want me to clean it, then we'll make a part two. If they want me to leave it, then maybe we'll just put it into a case and make it a, a video background showpiece. Fun, right? Alright, so I've decided we could at least try to diagnose it a little bit. Let's see if we've got power actually coming in and whatnot. there hmm it's not even getting through the inductor let's see let me think about this Yeah, I think we should show potential there, right? Maybe not. That or we have a trace on top that has failed. Or the rectifier itself has failed. That's a possibility. That's about where my voltage ends. Let's see. Man, it's been a while since I've had to mess with that rectifier. Does it go from this pin to this pin? I'm going to say that it actually does.
Okay, yeah. So, inductors will show a short. So this must be, yeah, okay, that's ground, or not ground, <laughs> not ground yet anyway. Hmm. So yeah, I, that is actually looking like the the bridge rectifier. These four pins is what's failed right now. Because now I get nothing out of that pin. I don't think turning it on will make a difference. 1.1 volts. Nope. Let's see, our input pin for the 7805 is still only getting one volt. Obviously our output pin, five volt pin is not getting anything. So yeah, I'm going to say at least a bad bridge rectifier or a trace or two to the rectifier right there has been messed up. Actually, I can tell if the traces are messed up, can I? <clears throat> this goes from there. Huh. Yeah, I think it goes should go from there to one of the pins and from there. Okay, so from there to there is okay. But from over here, to I believe the here is bad. I'm like I, I think I can show you that on a different board. Okay, so here's one of my top loader boards that uh, just had way too many bad traces on the bottom from corrosion. But you can easily see where the traces on top are that go from the inductor over to the bridge rectifier. It's just two short traces right there. And there to there, and there to there. And then I'll see your power jack over to the inductor like so. And we knew those are good, but the the long one, I believe, is what we seem to be having trouble getting, which would be here to here. It's just not there. So, technically, I could solder a wire from here to here, and we could go a little further with it, but do we want to do that? <laughs> Kinda, honestly, but it just seems like this would be a bad idea. I'm sure this is all dry now, but even just a little bit of residual moisture could cause major problems. You know, if these chips are still in good shape, and if we vote to clean this thing up, then don't want to burn them out now. You know, I'd rather clean it up first and then try all that. My vote is to clean it. Um, Mostly because I'm the only person in the world that cares about stuff like this. <laughs> I mean, I look at that and I just laugh my ass off. But I don't know that I need to display it. And if I put it in the background as a display, I don't know that a lot of people that come to the channel that are new are going to understand why that's amazing. You know, and it's on video now, so we've got record of it. But we'll still try the poll and see what happens.